look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tech or the disrespect. If you play back, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to it again. A beautiful day of checking these buttons. We appreciate the love. Chapters down below if you want to skip around because there's some hot ones today. And of course, that sub button right there. As always, thank you for taking the time to help the channel grow. So we got some hot ones. We're about to get into it, but we got a special sponsor. Only 60 seconds, but there's 20% off plus free shipping and free international shipping. Just use the link down below, promo code button check. Without further ado, let's go. Ultra 5.0 But now you can get it in gold So you can take it nice and slow With the foil blade getting you closer You can get a sleek and golden touch Switching between blades is easy And it's waterproof so baby don't rush Translucent combs, portable charger Battery save a luck So baby give me that golden touch Cause now I got that golden Sock! Golden, golden sock, I was gonna say sock I mean, what else would you say? Oh, it's Manscaped, baby. Oh, oh it's Manscaped, baby. Stay golden, golden, golden. Oh, 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 all right, now up for them Harada spitting game about how the FGC, or just gaming in general, has gotten away from them glory days, buttons that need to be checked. So we posted this one uh, the other day. A lot of people started talking about it. Let's go ahead and unpack it right here. First, he starts off by saying it has nothing to do with Tekken. I love the video game industry. I don't think there's a better calling, and I consider myself to be an ever-positive person, but, 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 being in this industry for so long, or perhaps because I have been in it for so long, I've also witnessed moments when the dream gaming world and ideals I was in crumbled. Only such moments do I get a glimpse of why the movie Joker, that's right, the movie Joker was a huge hit despite the controversy. You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. I realize that I have moments like that when I've lived long enough. And then down here, the link, is basically the trailer to the movie Joker back in 2019. Then of course from there, FGC starts to react. Somebody uh, by the name of John says, is there a way to bring the gaming industry back to its glory day? Harada responds saying, it depends on whether there is a return to the starting point of investment in possibilities and dreams. Rather than a return on investment, our industry all involved has become too focused on stable business. For example, the Nintendo and PlayStation Godfathers um, invested more in the challenge of dreams and ideals than in stability of their business and titles. I see more responding to that saying, far too many companies are trying to turn video games into a corporate product, killing the passion instead of letting developers pour their soul into games. I understand games cost more to make, so there is more risk, but without passion for the project, it will not succeed. Jayuna responds to this as well saying, if I had to deal with Tekken players commenting on every one of my tweets, I would turn into the Joker too. I also see Kujo K posting saying, outside perspective, uh, conformity of business, it's uh, how it's evolved to be micromanagement. It strives slash hopes for the best to keep everything smooth running, but people need to express themselves in different ways under that roof. I don't think it's being the Joker, it's natural. And on this same topic, it reminds me, Dirty Low was talking about this, I wanna say a week or two ago, when he was kind of going in, I think it was on the 2XKO debate, maybe some other one as well, where he was talking about his glory days or the glory days in general of the gaming industry versus how it is now. A lot of this stuff is just either regurgitated or just played out. Um, I think I got the clip. We're going to check that out. Let's get it. Oh, mm. you, we've been fed the same Call of Duty game forever. Call it doesn't change. It does, everyone's like, oh my God, the new Call of Duty looks so good. It's the same shit. Mm. It plays the same. Oh, we'll give you access to weapons this year. Oh, you know what? Next year, we're taking those weapons away and then we're going to add them as fucking DLC. Mm. Like, I don't get it. Like, like, I, and we're tired of it. Because yeah. why? Because the studios are milking us. Mm. They know we want to buy these games. They know we want to play the new experience. They make it harder to get entry level in. 
And then, of course, we're microtransaction to death. We're yep. live service to death on sometimes games. And it doesn't even make sense. It didn't make sense to make Suicide Squad a live action, live service game. Avengers. I love the Avengers. They made an Avengers game a few years ago. And it sucked balls. And it's the horrible live service. And if it was any good, I'd still be playing that game probably. Because okay. I love action adventure games. Right, right. So what you're saying is... Uh, just because we have some bad apples in the bunch yeah. doesn't mean that gamers don't know what they're talking about. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, dude. Yeah. We know what we're talking about. We know the duds. What do you think we don't want to play the new Assassin's Creed. It's just a, <laughs> what, oh, you're making Assassin's Creed in Japan. Yeah, fucking Ghost of Tsushima did it better. Why, why are you, we don't want this game anymore. We've seen it. We've done it. Give us something else. Give us it more night. It seems like, like ideas just get rehashed. Oh, this worked here, so we'll make our version. Mm. You know? Where where are the people trying to destroy the new Elden Ring DLC? Where are the people trying to destroy Elden Ring, an amazing game? Where are the people trying to say, you know what? Cyber, Cyberpunk ended up starting in a bad time, but now it's... And Phantom Liberty is, is amazing. AAA games or like C games. There's no AA games, single B games anymore. A game just made for the sake of being fun. And when those games come out, they shine and they sell. So there you go. In a nutshell, y'all already know. Dirty Low don't hold nothing back. Whatever's on that man's mind is going to come out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? So Harada going in, uh, telling it like it is. FGC responding. Dirty Low as well. How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, next up for Punk's funniest and most savage clips, buttons that need to be checked. This one is very interesting, y'all. So Fly Fighters, who's one of uh, Punk's sponsors right now, they might be his main sponsors if I'm not mistaken. But either way, they I don't know who's running that account, but that person got a sense of humor. They be posting some troll stuff, like that, some funny comments on Punk and other players from time to time. I'm like, yo, they actually got a sense of humor and that's what's up. Well, they posted another one just the other day right here saying, who's got that one Punk the God clip? Um, and this was just a couple of days ago and the FGC responded, just flooded it with clips of Punk. Some of them I myself have never seen before got me either rolling or like, what the fuck is this? So without further ado, let's check it out. Next shoulder, roundhouse tango, and that spells defeat. Alpha 3 is your first team me. to play off against Team Japan here in Street Fighter League Season 3. You can't touch me. Talk to me like that. You can't touch me. <gasps> hey. I'm the best. Say I'm the best. Your whole team should say I'm the best. <laughs> Look, man, I'm going to tell you right now, no matter how you feel about Punk, you got to eat those pop- EX shoulder, roundhouse tank. All right, so, okay, that one, if you guys remember, not sure if you guys recall, that's the one where he was uh, up against 801 Strider. That turned into an even bigger ordeal. Remember where they were like face-to-face -face behind stage? They were like in each other's faces. It was a huge thing, right? If you heard Strider in that clip, he was like, talk to, talk to me like that outside which they had another discussion it was a big thing they're cool now they squashed it since right that, i think that was a couple of years ago but either way yeah i remember that one i'm blah 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 i don't care what you talking about bro i just watched you we're not talking about frosty Faustins. we're not talking about no tournament we talk about me and you you garbage and you garbage you garbage you can get washed by me and you can get washed by garbage at frost Bro, you can get watch my garbage at Frosty. The score that. was. Where do you think you can change from ten to you? So I just want to. I just want to know your analogy here. You know, a person who's been playing for two weeks and he's already better than someone three years. Don't you think that I'm only going to get even better than you? You can't get any better. I promise you. The skill level you're at right now, you're there forever. You're trash. You can't get better. Yeah, I'm blah blah blah. I remember this one. This was a good beef while it lasted. It was Punk versus Acoustics. Acoustics comes in talking that shit. You know Acoustics, he don't hold back. You know what I'm saying? God bless him for that spirit, you know? But Punk is the same way. So Punk shot back, it became this thing. And I believe on this particular set, uh, Punk got his revenge or Punk washed him. So either way, I don't, I'm not sure how those two feel each other about, about each other now. I'm pretty sure they squashed it. But either way, while this one lasted, while it lasted, it was classic. Let's go! I'm the fucking greatest! Nobody fucking with me, 
bro! The fuck out of here, bro! Yo, I remember this one too. This one was the one, I think he was playing against Idom. He wins, he pops off, but not only that, in about a second here, you're gonna hear his mom jump in. I'm not sure who the other person is. It might be a sister or something like that, but it's definitely his mom. Either way, let's check it out. Nigga say I'm not fucking clutch! I'm the definition of clutch! Fuck out of here! Hey, don't say that now. Hey, let's we we not saying all that. She was like, oh, <laughs> can I? Oh my god, I can't. I'm just playing there. My mom, fuck you, motherfucker. I mean, she was there. I don't know if she was watching the match in another room or something like that. But damn, I think there was an Evo. I can't remember which one it was. It might have been the first one where he was playing against the keto. I can't remember, but I remember that she was there, like in the audience cheering. But I can't remember, y'all, because it was such a long time ago. But either way, I know that, I mean, she she gets hype. You know what I'm saying? She has her son's back, as she should. But damn, I remember that one. Mm-hmm. And then you get your I've phone, never seen this you know? one. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this man, let's rewind. This man is leaking over here. Mm-hmm. And then you get your tongue, you know? Uh-huh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I think I've seen enough of the spit. All right. Let's go on to the next one. That was with him and nephew. All right. I don't just want to come up to me and suck my what dick. What demon, Dan? You know, I actually, like, would want that dude to at least ask me, you know? And it got over a thousand likes. So I knew it had to be a banger. It has 1.2 thousand likes. Out of all the clips posted, this one has the most. Let's get it. Oh. But I wouldn't mind if a guy came up to me and sucked my dick, you know. I'm not going to be like, yo, stop that. I'm going to be like, yo, you might as well finish, bro. You feel me? Like, what's the... Let's continue. Point of stopping somebody. You tell me when you wake up, you're sucking your dick, you're gonna stop him? Why? You let that finish, bro. I'm not gonna stop that. You let him finish and then you box that afterwards, you know? You're like, damn, that shit was good, but nigga, you gotta throw them hands, bro. That shit was gay, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the clip. I would like to believe he was <laughs> What the? I don't even know what year this was from, but I know this is the main clip where people that are loving and responding and are liking and thank God we found this clip type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. That is crazy. Now, the fact that he busted out laughing at the end, obviously he got to be joking, you know, People be joking like that, you know what I'm saying? Especially when, you know, the dudes are hanging together. Either way, damn. How y'all feeling about that? That is hilarious. Hopefully. Yeah. And then wrapping it up right here with Fly Fighters posting this saying, 
Y'all thought I was cooked for this. Me too. Good news, everyone. I didn't get fired. And there you go. Bravo to fly, fire, fly fighters not tripping over that and having an actual sense of damn humor. That's what I love, man. I, you know, when orgs can get down like that, that's why so many people love Harada. Because he'll, he'll blast your ass. He'll go on Twitter and say, don't ask me for shit. You're an idiot. Da, da, da. Obviously, he's not doing it just to do it. But he's not afraid to talk that shit. And he got the highest of respects. So anytime you see anybody that's supposed to be like professional, there's a way to do that. There's a way to do that. But if you can still be down to earth and have a sense of humor, we love it. We go crazy for it. So whoever's running Fly Fighters, I salute you, man. And there it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you are feeling. Thank you guys for the amazing love. And one more time, Bogus Journeys this Sunday morning. Hope to see you guys there for episode two, AKA episode 88. So we'll see you there. And real quick, I wanted to give you guys a heads up because I didn't want you to be caught off guard. Coming up very soon, and then next like two or three days, we're gonna actually do a whole dedicated, whole dedicated video, me and Dirty Low, to World of Warcraft. <laughs> now, a lot of you might be like, what the hell are you talking about World of Warcraft? Check this out, we're not gonna actually play the game. We don't have to do that, but we got sponsored. Button Check actually got sponsored and they want us to literally just react to an artist creating a sculpture of World of Warcraft. And I thought that was so cool. It was like a cool concept. Who does that? And you never really seen a sponsor want you to react to an artist like that. So I thought that was cool. And they're gonna sponsor that and it's gonna help us tremendously keep the lights on and keep this moving forward. And back in the day, Dirty Low used to kill some wow. He was all about it, you know what I'm saying? So when I brought this to him, he was like, hell yeah, let's do it. So just to be a, uh, just to give you guys a forewarning, you're gonna see that on the channel. And like any other sponsor, y'all, if you rock with it and just wanna watch it for a bit, then thank you for the support. If you don't, you don't. Just move on to the next video as you do with any other sponsor. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, heads up since it's not necessarily FGC, you know what I'm saying? Still video game related, but either way, just something different and something that's gonna help us keep this train pushing forward so either way thank you guys for the amazing love i will see you soon patreon of the day is jason sutton became a five dollar member thank you jason for the mad love once again it only takes one dollar to join the patreon you could join uh donate more if you want but you also get the bogus journeys episodes at least a week early so thank you for the amazing love we'll see y'all soon if not tomorrow definitely the next day as always i don't know what it is but i know it's about to get better love y'all forever peace Blah, 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 subscribe. And now for the moments of FGC bliss or really gaming bliss. So Dr. Disrespect is back streaming, y'all. Um, you already know this, right? Apparently he, do he dove into a new game called Deadlock. He posted this, what was it, just yesterday, saying live in 30 minutes, I just installed Deadlock. What the hell is this game? Is it from Valve? I must know, I must understand the future of multiplayer gaming. And there you have it, right? But above, the official Deadlock Twitter account, well, I should say the new source for Deadlock, quote retweeted this one right here saying, Dr. Disrespect is playing Deadlock today. Please avoid Q if you are a minor. Yeah, people started responding down below. This one has over 267,000 likes. Yeah, people are loving it, right? So yeah, dunking on them. Screaming, hoping, laughing, dying. Yeah, there you have it. But it doesn't stop there. They post again. So apparently after he starts gaming, Deadlock Intel post again saying his entire team left his very first game. Bam. Let's click on it right here. Here you have it. You can see everybody in the damn team left. He's by himself. And then the sign comes up saying this match is now safe to be abandoned without penalty. There you have it. Have a good one.